hello scorpio welcome into my channel i hope that you are well i'm here to provide messages for the sign scorpio sun moon rising and venus scorpio is the eighth sign eighth astrological sign of the zodiac scorpio's ruling planet is mars and scorpio's element is water mars is passionate water is emotional so passionate and emotional maybe intensely emotional thank you so much for being here scorpios i hope you find messages here that resonate with you and are provide value in your direction on your path scorpios please do focus your intention on these sets of cards right here so that we can get the most accurate readings for you here today let's go thank you so much scorpio messages messages for scorpio what's going on in scorpio's energy right now thank you so much <sighs> breathe release release mm. heat tension bottling up emotions turning away from strife and earth sign there's love here also, not a lot of vocals, expression. There is uh, the need to bask in nature, sorts of overpowers your pentacles or your sense of self-worth, Scorpio. You're very connected to the water sign, so maybe you love sitting by the ocean. I feel like you're being very meditative right now, in thought, in your thought process, really just hanging out observing and not really speaking a lot you i feel like you have you have had a bit of conflict or this may be coming up for you with an earth sign so i feel like you're deciding to connect with your true self let's get more into your reading scorpio stay tuned for more exciting messages coming through for you this is coming up in your seven day forecast It is so windy outside, such a beautiful day to really be outside. So if you are chilling outside, good for you, Scorpio. Beautiful day, let's get into it. So I try to separate these equally in thirds. Okay. okay, let's get some messages for the sign of Scorpio, please. What's going on in their vibrations? Scorpio, this is a general reading, so the messages may not always fit. So just be free and allow the messages to come through to you and take what resonates with you. You do not have to worry if nothing resonates. That just means that we're not picking up on your energy right now. And that's okay. Right? So let's get some messages. What's going on for Scorpios in the seven days? What's coming up? Mm, the Ace of Wands. The Moon. The Queen of Cups. Water sign. This card represents Scorpio's energy as well, being in tune with, with one's emotions. So I feel like you are I, the energy of just sitting on the beach, relaxing with your hand behind your head, your feet up, you know, feeling the breeze blow, listening to the birds, just really looking at life, being in a state of observance instead of acting so that you can feel out your emotions. Maybe you have been going through some intense emotions or you're, supposed, you're going to expect this coming up for you in the week where you'll be presented with a sort of a, a test in emotions coming through you. Maybe some secrets will be revealed, but I feel like you will handle this like a boss. You'll be true to your emotions, to your heart space, to your best self. You'll be chill, relaxed, easygoing when this news comes in. Well, I don't know if it's the news. What Some secrets are being revealed here. It's causing you to really introspect. 
The secret may be coming from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming into you. This could be something auspicious that is coming from the universe into you. But it's sort of a gift, a test. So you're going to feel it in your emotions. I feel like you're going to be feeling a gut feeling. For example, if someone is lying to you and you know that they're lying to your face and it's burning inside of you, your emotions are boiling, but you decide not to say anything. Just let it be. Be the bigger person. So there's a secret being revealed and it's how you handle it in your emotions. Let's see what this energy is that is coming into you. Wands, something written coming at you directly. Words, it could be words. Someone could be cussing you out, <laughs> or this could be you that's releasing some tension, some anger that you it's an opportunity to release anger. But you see that this is like because this is a fire sign, the sign of fire, passion. So I feel like there will be many words said so I feel like just be careful of that vibration but nevertheless you will handle it well you'll come out on top A test of strategies how you maneuver through the situation you're a water sign very intuitive you know things before they happen you're able to see behind veils see people's true personalities even those that pretend to be for you you can tell just by the words the energy behind the, the words the, the weight of their words what they really mean so let's clarify the moon card Scorpio the king of wands so another fire energy here fire energy hmm Aries Leo Sagittarius so we have fire energy water energy Scorpio in your emotions I feel like you're a bit hot and cold you don't know if you're to be angry or if you're to be how you're to take a situation that's coming into you but I feel like you'll take it cool you'll be cool you'll be able to block the attacks coming into you could have be verbal attacks coming into you intention set sent your way maybe for distractions hmm. okay so something coming into you something coming into you speedily but you're able to detect their coming because i feel like this is a message to you that it is coming so you're able to see it coming and stand powerfully, courageous, brave, in attunement to the truth of who you are, Scorpio, using your passion, your desire, your true in I feel like you're going to have to speak up for yourself, really. Just be adamant about what you're saying, not ifing and butting. This is someone that's very passionate. Could be... Um, Okay, let's get a clarification for the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. I just love seeing this card. <laughs> I do. This is blessings, financial blessings and abundance coming into your life. So look out for that, Scorpio. Okay. The Nine of Swords, Pain dealing with um not being able to sleep mental torment maybe that is what is coming out of your system what needs to be read out of you scorpio i feel like you have been taking time to heal to rejuvenate yourself i feel like what this is saying is that you went through pain in the past and it's sort of attacks you it could be a person verbally attacking you situations in your life that are unpleasant also manifestations of negative thoughts pattern thought patterns and behaviors that kind of come into your life 
and torment you keeps you from sleeping keeps you in this place of feeling like a victim and you're ready for a change it is the nine it is the ending of that of that feeling of fe being victimized and tortured by feelings waking up with terrible feelings in your body you know what i'm saying so you know it is it's coming to an end you're taking action standing firm in yourself to stop this feeling and so the gift is coming into you something to strengthen your intuition to allow your emotions to really mature to know how to speak up for yourself to how to hold yourself how to be there for yourself and so when these um, attacks come in you're handling them what you're handling them very well indeed being the master of your intuition here standing firm being alert and ready grounded see what i'm saying the end is here nine and then the ten of swords the ending this is like a tower card the ending to this feeling it is over the, something has been revealed your true strength your courage your bravery your strong sense of intuition and how to really stay balanced in your emotions that's why you have elevated to the queen of the water over here queen of emotions emotional maturity so it is over something has been brought to light that sets you free from this feeling let's continue the Ten of Cups, so see it's a graduation night, the Ten of Swords leading to the Ten of Cups, happy life, happy family, the Cups energy, being balanced in your emotions, these are your cards, you're being rewarded for really standing firm, standing true to yourself. I don't feel like you're focusing a lot on pentacles, it's your emotions, that's what you're focusing on, remaining grounded in love, having a space of love in yourself. You're being rewarded for standing firm up against these attacks, knowing that you truly have the upper hand because these thoughts that torment you are your thoughts. You have to be the one that masters, manages your internal world, your emotions. Look at this, the Ten of Cups, everything happy coming into you beautiful vibration scarf your beautiful energy this is what you're expecting to expecting to come into you within seven days the six of pentacles equal giving and sharing finding a sense of value and self-worth working on your money even wow working on your your money i feel like a lot of these the zodiac signs in april are working on finances healing see healing came through from these attacks healing go outside more get connected with water because that is your element the moon is also your element water your emotions find um look up healing remedies with moon and water on youtube and um i feel like even focusing on your pentacles focusing on on your business helps you to get out of this this energy here healing calls for there to be an end to the situation and that's what's happening for you money is coming into you to the pentacles over here so you're focusing on healing working on your pentacles and then you're being rewarded emotionally and financially Scorpio the high priestess what I'm saying here you are using your intuition the high priestess is the card of intuition high knowing knowing things before they even come into being look at her being able to look out through this spectrum here to see what's coming at her before it even gets there moon intuition this is a lot of water energy as well using your emotions to really govern yourself your flow being in the flow also speak how you feel um i feel like saying speak positively as well so that will help you to think more positive thoughts that will help you to really elevate stay firm knowing who you are trusting your emotions staying firm knowing what to let into your life and what not to that's what hurt causes us to do to know what hurts us so that we choose next time we know better how to identify red flags we are wiser now definitely scorpio wising up so it's it's a matter of how you handle this challenge coming up right so there's a celebration here or this may be something that was an end was put to 
something that caused you pain and that is over. You're blocking that out of your life, in your emotions and out of your physical life as well. It is done. All right. Okay. Next. The Ten of Cups. The Empress. Wow. You have the Queen of Cups. You have the Empress. Both of these cards are similar in nature. Wow. Just being so attuned to your beautiful vibration here. To life, to nature, to what you have to give on earth. Me, I feel like, yes, you're in contemplation. That's what I'm saying. I feel like you're hanging out by the beach, just kicking it, thinking, in you know, introspecting on your life. And you're glowing. You're probably walking around with a smile on your face more. Just because you're in, you're more into yourself. You're not looking for validation outside. You're healing. Oh my God, you have come to a place of healing through introspection, through reevaluating your life through reassessing what's important to you what you need to be working on or focusing on the most right now and that is taking you to the ten of cups vibration family abundance land homes cars businesses whatever you want is manifesting and you're being guided to really focus on your pentacles to really align with your sense of wealth here that will be good for you scorpio it's all coming through if you want any other personal messages um, which I just thought of like uh, what it is that you are doing to bringing in this money just let me know in the comments below if you're interested in in me going into that thank you so much Scorpius for being here let's get final messages for you from the playing cards <sighs> final messages for Scorpio please oh my god that's the six of pentacles working on yourself your values your business that will align you with your wealth what is the scorpio's business scorpio's business what do scorpio's business what are they going to make money how are scorpio's earning money how is scorpio receiving money by what method is scorpio receiving money by what method are scorpio's bank accounts increasing and improving by what method are scorpio's emotional values improving emotional maturity financial abundance coming into scorpio's life how is it how is this transpiring in scorpio's life manifestation work I feel like you're writing you're using your passions your something that you are desire that you're very passionate about comes easy for you silent working in silence I feel like you're at the tip of your manifestation now look at that you could be coming into a twin flame soulmate connection I did not see the king of cups out here yet all right Scorpius see new beginnings you're manifesting it's coming through things are ending old cycles are closing out for you and you're welcoming in the new you're working more with your intuition to help you to heal a broken heart perhaps thank you so much scorpio for being here okay <clears throat> So Scorpios, thank you so much for coming through. I hope that these messages really resonated with you. I hope to see you again on my channel. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when I post more messages for you. Thank you so much for coming through and have a great rest of day or night whenever you see this message. All right, take care. Bye. Much love.